friends, Valentine's Day is coming up, and this book is called Hedge Hugs. The author is Steve Wilson. That means they wrote the words. And the illustrator is Lucy Tapper. That means she drew the pictures. So on the cover, there's two hedgehogs on a swing, and there's a little bumblebee in the distance, too. Turn the page. Horace and Hattie are the very best friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four-leaf clovers in the meadow. So Horace and Hattie are outside. They're on their swings, and they're in a meadow full of clovers. Clovers are green little leaves. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of an, the old oak tree. They like to splash in puddles on the lawn. So on the one page, Horace and Heidi are in a field of daisies, which are flowers that have lots of bumblebees by them because bees also like flowers. And then the next page, they're in a their rain boot splashing in puddles, splash, splash, splash. Turn the page. And sometimes they like to have a, a tea party by the river. They're on mushroom cap sitting for, as chairs and then have a big mushroom cap for their tea party table with cupcakes and tea. When Horace is busy, Haiti puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. Oh, she has a pink tutu on. Dance, 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 Haiti. When Haiti is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. <gasps> he found one, two spiders in the woods. Turn the page. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. Oh, no. They are just too spiky. Hedgehogs have lots of spikes on their back. It helps protect them from other animals who might want to hurt them. Turn the page. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered all of their quills. Oh, they're a big snowball. But the hug was too cold. <laughs> snow is cold like ice. Turn the page. In the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Heidi squeezed inside the logs. But the hug was too bumpy. Horace and Heidi are trying to hug while they're inside their logs. And it goes bump, bump, bump. Turn the page. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes. But the hug was too sticky. So they have strawberries all over their backs. And then there's a big puddle of strawberry juice by their feet. That would be sticky. Turn the page. In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves. <gasps> They're rolling in a big pile of leaves. But the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Haiti. Turn the page. Then one day they found something very interesting. <gasps> They're outside and they found a clothesline. A clothesline is a long piece of rope that holds clothes up like t-shirts, pajamas, scarves, even blankets to dry by the sunshine. Turn the page. It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He, he's inside a sock. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then out he popped. Pop! So now Horace put a little bite in the sock. So now his face can pop through the sock, but his spikes are all covered. Turn the page. Haiti thought Horace looked very funny. Then she had an idea. <gasps> oh, Haiti now found a sock. Horace is in his sock, and Haiti found a sock. Turn the page. Haiti looked at Horace. Horace looked at Haiti. <gasps> they moved closer and closer and closer until <gasps> they're both in their sock outfits that's covering all their quills. Turn the page. Let's see what happens. <gasps> they hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold, not scratchy, not sticky, and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedge hug. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means. A hedgehog has happened. The end. 
and Horus and Haiti are giving each other a big, big, big hug. Happy Valentine's Day, friends. Talk to you later. Bye.